First news. In Mecca, Saudi Arabia, Hajj pilgrimage effectively canceled. This year, due to coronavirus concerns, the Hajj is effectively canceled. The Saudi government decided to put health concerns over religious and economic ones. Although Hajj is a major source of prestige and tourism for the kingdom, it has announced that no pilgrims from outside the country could perform the Hajj this year in order to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. Uh, later, Saudi officials narrowed the order, saying that about only 1,000 pilgrims would be permitted this year, a tiny fraction of the 2.5 million who came last year. Um, this is, I didn't think stuff like this could happen. Like, for, I, I had to go look it up. It seemed like it happened a, a couple of times in history, but before, like, for Muslims alive today, this is like, wait, what? Hajj can actually get canceled? Like, we yeah. didn't know that was a possibility. This is, uh, for, for Muslims, this is an extraordinary event. I think it has been canceled around four times in history. Your point that it's an extraordinary event is exactly what they're saying in the article. Like, they're tearful, they're beside themselves, they're, you know, um, you know, just besotted with how horrible this is that you know this has happened so yeah it is extraordinary and it's really affecting them uh, there's a facebook uh, comment on the original post that we made about this news article um on, on our facebook page uh, by albert mayena who's saying admin is responding to us. Uh, admin, I honestly don't think it's any of your business whether Hajj is opened or not. You really like like when religious people aren't happy. It's like you have no heart. What the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> so wait, we did, like when we posted the article, we didn't even say like, yeah, this is great news or anything. We just posted, posted the news. Like, why is this guy so upset with us just posting this news? Like, how, we, like we, because we like, don't believe in God and they do when something happened that they didn't like, which means that because we're talking about it, we must be hateful of them, right? Instead of just like sharing the fact that it happened, maybe. I mean, we don't, I mean, we, we, we do get offensive a lot when it comes to yeah. religious stuff, but this shows that <laughs> we're, even this. when we're, even when we're not trying to, at all to be offensive, just somebody has a problem with it. Like this shows like, you don't, don't even bother with not being offensive to people because just posting a link to a goddamn news article makes these people upset with us. And actually we were commenting on how extraordinary this was and how it only happened a few times. Hmm. And so I don't understand, but well, this whatever, is, it's about that person, not about us, is what I'm guessing. True. This is a major hit to Saudi Arabia, though, because Saudi Arabia is mm -hmm. desperately trying to, like, focus more on tourism-related stuff, um, like, even beyond the tourism that they get from Hajj, um, to diversify away from oil because oil prices are really low right now and Saudi Arabia's budget is like, they are in deep trouble, right? Mm -hmm. So now with this whole Corona thing, not only they're not getting tourism beyond Hajj, their, their main tourism that came from Hajj is also being hurt. Like, this is like so bad. I guess, Saudi Arabia, I don't know what it's going to happen. In the next 10 years, something dramatic is going to happen with this government. I don't know. but Oh, Michael Sherlock is in the live chat. Michael is saying, I think it's great news. The Hajj was canceled. It saved lives. How so? Well, because instead of 2.5 million people congregating, it's only 1,000. And they're all from there. So it's not also, people a lot coming of people... from everywhere and then going back and giving people the Rona. A lot of yeah. people die at Hodge even without the coronavirus because of stampedes or heat stroke or um, getting MERS. Um, there's a lot of Ab – Abdullah Samir did a really good video about why so many people die at Hodge. Um, it was really interesting. Yeah, actually, Saudi Arabia and Iran had, a, among all the problems that they have with each other, one of them was a whole bunch of Iranian Hajj goers, pilgrims that died in a stampede and Saudi Arabia didn't do proper investigation and stuff like that. And Iran was like, we'll cancel Hajj until Saudi Arabia 
does like justice to all these pilgrims and said you're like i don't give a fuck don't come <laughs> <laughs> so, but it was pretty yeah but it was pretty a huge tension between saudi arabia and iran over that um oh shabham i can yeah, hear by so... the vacuum noise that you have something to say <laughs> so, so i was uh, looking up like uh, the cancellation of Hajj throughout history and there have been reasons where people have been prevented from um, the Hajj pilgrim, uh, pilgrimage because of like several things like uh, pandemics and political disputes and other things but I think this is the first time since 1936 the founding of uh, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia that the Hajj was cancelled and before this I think uh, the uh, major, uh, I mean, uh, the Napoleon disputes were there, and like the Mongols, and it, it's like really, really real. Like it was never cancelled on a such a wider scale before, almost never. Mm. Good. I it's hope a they go back. Mission, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I wonder how people are going to try to explain their way out of it theologically. Like my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, is that it's supposed to be that no plague can even enter the holy city, right? Well, um, I thought she has mostly say that because they. I don't think it's about their shrines, but I don't think Sony will say that given that we have in history that that has happened. So who? I don't think that would be a wide um, be, uh, belief. But yeah, but it was... You know, but I really hope that this hurts them financially. Like, I really do. Saudi's government deserves to go bankrupt. I don't know how soon this will happen, but I hope it happens. I hope the whole cab area turns into like one day we look at it like a museum, like open to atheists to go visit as a place that used to be a site of pilgrimage. That would be amazing. Imagine that. Anyways. Um, let's go. Do you guys want have anything else to say before we? Um, nothing except uh, paint the Kaaba rainbow. It's Pride Month. Allah is oh, gay. Yes. Let's get yes. into it. <laughs> we will. That will happen. I will tell you. This is going to happen one day in history. You will mark my words. We're going to have the rainbow flags flying over the Kaaba. Okay. Gay it, Kaaba. It might, be, it might seem impossible right now. But look at history. Dramatic changes happens all the time. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 